different because if, um, there are di visitors, people from universities and some prof professors, which we weren't expecting at all. Yesterday, we went to the hall and Skiller and Frisk, we were doing like activities with Skiller and Frisk and we all had really, lots of really fun. We were singing songs, we were dancing, the teachers were joining. First of all, it's something different. We need to do fun things like this to get the good work from them. So it's been really nice for me as a teacher to step back as well and, and watch them having fun. And they don't realise how much they're actually learning at the same time. The curriculum is rich in its content, but very, very focused on grammar, punctuation, spelling, which is, of course, absolutely important. But I want to give the children inspiring ideas to um, get them to be really creative with, with their, the content of their writing as well. In terms of personal, social and emotional, it, it's so important in this um, phase of early years that they get engaged with others, talk about it. Uh, so all of that is very important for that, their development. Having those experiences that you then take with you through your life and recall is just fantastic. And that's certainly what the children will have from the experiences that we've got with Kit. stimulates the thinking processes because it's not something that like picture worksheet it's more touch me feel me taste me look at me watch it's, it's, it's a lot of them personally being involved rather than having to look at something and kind of learning from that or watching a reading something it's the, the they're physically involved in every part of what they're doing. Creating this magic around learning is so important. Instead of being so focused all the time, they, they definitely enjoy all of this magic around their, all of their day. I think it really brings to life some of the, the things that they've been learning about in, in, their, in their lessons. I've had parents coming to say how much, how the children have come home and re been really enthused and been talking about everything they've done in the Inspiration Day and how exciting it was. and and then that's been able to link back to the learning that they've been doing in their topics. It really brings that to life. Well, the children are massively excited. They are um, really interested in what's going to happen. They are anticipating what's going to happen. Um, the, and again, because it's so well planned, that the children are targeted in different ways, so different little groups of children do different things, and then it all comes together. It comes down to you can't you can't write about something that you haven't experienced and you can't learn about something that you've never seen or never understood. For example, how chocolate is made. When would they ever learn about that or know about that? So they're experiencing something, so that will stay with them for a very long time and their, their work from this will be so much better. When Year 5 were learning about the Anglo-Saxons, they uh, it really brought their learning to life to then have an experience having a letter from King Alfred and, and seeing these written out in uh, Anglo-Saxon runes. Yeah, it's, it's really enriched their experience in class. I really enjoyed this day. I'm learning lots of lots and lots of more information about King Alfred the Great. This is more, more fun than we ever had before. Because normally you have tests and it's normally assessments and we're really busy. Well, now we're like all we're all happy. It, feels, it makes me feel elated. It's much more exciting. For example, in my class I've got quite a few SEN children. This is something that they can access and they can have fun and they can get involved with the other children too. Yeah, especially I've got two generally silent children in my classroom and I found it hard finding them in my classroom. Normally I know where they're sitting but I've got one running around in the corner telling his friend, oh try this ingredient, try this and I've got one that's just using a musical instrument and just doing a lot of drama. The best moment is probably seeing um, one of my children who's got a special educational need getting up just now and standing there in front of the whole class and singing along with a jingle. That was really lovely because she would never normally get up and stand in front of the class. I think teachers in general, especially during SATS time, we don't do enough practical work. So for example, the tasting of the chocolate and all of that kind of stuff, we would have probably said, oh no, no. We'll just imagine, we'll just pretend, but actually doing it, you know, why not? Let's do it. 
and they actually get to experience what we are talking about. So I'll definitely be doing more of that in my classroom. Staff have been very enthusiastic because the experiences of the Inspiration Days for the class have been things that they would never have been able to plan for themselves. Um, so having Kit Theatre come in and plan it with them has been a really um, brilliant experience for the teachers and really good professional development for them that they're able to take on. I can see the way they've made this theme into a full day full of pure enjoyment and learning at the same time. So I'm looking back and thinking, okay, I'll do that next time I teach this or I'll do that when I teach this. I've been feeling really intrigued by it.